Here, I'll take it, Sherry. Your turn to serve, Freddie. You stay right here, children. I'll get it. you tell me you got twin brother, huh? I wouldn't have believed there was two big dumb apes like you even in the monkey house. Here, take a look. Oh, come on, stupid, look. Did you ever see such a monster's mug on, on anything that claims to be human? <laughs> you don't claim to be human, do you, Orbach? Here, look. <laughs> hey, well, maybe you're right. If I was you, I'd be afraid to look in the looking glass myself. It might... Yeah, why do I waste my time? Ever again. She was the victim of the most reprehensible type of criminal, a child murderer. So long as he stalks the streets unnoticed or lurks in the shadows near the playground, no little one is safe. He preys on the innocence and trust of childhood. Tonight we tell the story of a community in the clutches of just such a monster, held terrified in the Fingers of Fear, that's the title of our play. Our leading players are Mr. Nehemiah Persoff, Mr. Robert Middleton, Mr. Kevin Hagen, and Mr. Thayer Roberts. Join us now in a desperate manhunt, a race against time where a lost hour, a wasted minute, might result in another bestial, senseless killing. No. She could have been thrown out of a car. She wasn't very heavy. Stay here with Spivak. Keep looking. For anything special, Lieutenant? Anything. Anything at all. I'll drive you home, Miss Spencer. Was it like the others? Yes, they were all the same. Do you have any children, Lieutenant? I have a little girl, Kathy, same age. Oh. 
Here we have a maddened creature killing because for some reason we can't even guess, he simply has to kill. We're not interested in why he kills, Dr. Lasko. What we want to know is who we're looking for so we can get him before he kills again, as you indicate he may. People aren't sleeping tonight. They're sitting behind locked doors with the lights on and they're blaming me. I'll keep the newspapers under control as long as I can. But 60% of this community's income is from tourists. If this case isn't closed in a hurry, we can say goodbye to the season this year. I get your message, Commissioner. We better catch somebody and kill them before we lose a tourist trail. Uh, Lieutenant, you'd better get back to work. All right, then. Anything more on that, Lieutenant? It's European. Not in mass production yet. So whatever it came off of must have been expensive. No prints? Only the little girls. Oh. Autopsy report came in. Left ventricle in the pancreas punctured by a sharp metal instrument, probably a knife. Coagulations indicate death about four days ago. Same day she disappeared. Hmm. So we can at least hope that she didn't live long after he got her. Victim's blood type O. You notice there, Lieutenant, Doc found traces of somebody else's blood. Blood type ABRH negative. Doc says it's very rare. Only one of a kind in hundreds. So? All we have to do is persuade 30 or 40,000 people to let us tap them for samples. <laughs> said the little girl was killed with a razor edge knife. So when Jody brought that home, I said to myself, why would anybody want to throw a knife away in a lake? Unless he had good reason to get rid of it. You sure there were no prints on it? None but yours, Jody. But, uh, that's good thinking, boy. Describe that man to me again. Well, I already told you, Lieutenant, he was big and, and ugly. Like a monster in the movies. In the car? Uh, a sedan, a jalopy, 1948-49. Kind of a dirty black. Mm, you didn't happen to see the license number? No. Okay, thanks, Jody. This will be a big help. 
Thanks, Mr. Matthews. Well, a man wants to do his duty as a public-spirited citizen, especially if he's got a kid of his own, if you know what I mean, Lieutenant. Believe me, Mr. Matthews, he knows what you mean. You're all right, Judy. I'll put out a description of that car. Dirty black sedan, 48 or 49. This is real south of the border work. And stitched and told. Mexican? Could be. Have every cop on the street check every leather shop anyone who might have made this. Every cop on the beat, every leather shop, anyone who could have made it. If this is too hard for you, you can quit, you know. Police dragnet for mad dog murderer's black car. <laughs> hey, Orbach. Hey, they got the picture in the paper again. Hey, look, see what it says. It says the cops know what kind of car they're after. It's an old sedan, 4849, painted black. <laughs> hey, what color is your car, Orbach? I only saw it around here at night, but I know it's an old jalopy. <laughs> Hey, Orbach! Oh, just a minute. When I came here, I didn't expect to be asked to sign anything. I, I, unless you guarantee to protect my anonymity, I guarantee I'm not... nothing, Mr. Carter. The moment after you get out of here, unless you've signed a statement, I'll be on the phone with Mrs. Carter. Oh, now, look here. I'm a respectable citizen. I'll re report this to the commissioner. <laughs> He'll have you on the front page so fast your head'll swim. Now, shall I call your wife and ask her what she thinks you were doing in City Park at midnight? Well... All right. All right, Lieutenant. Well... I was waiting for my friend in the park, in, in the park where the little girl was found the next morning, and a, a black car, a, a sedan, I think it was, that drove up across the street and a man got out. Well, he's a big, ugly guy. And he took something out of his pocket. It was a big hunting knife. The same kind of knife I saw in the papers. And then he went on into the bushes. There was something creepy about him. It kind of bothered me. While it passed the time, I tried to make out the license plate on his car. Well, it was dark, but I could see the numbers. And then I heard my friend coming down the street and I, <laughs> well, and, well, that, that was all, Lieutenant. Hmm. You didn't by any chance get the license plate number, huh? Oh, yes. Yes, it was uh, 8F0086. 8F0086. You're sure of that? Oh, yes, yes. It, it was a multiple of two. The last number, I mean. I see. I, I've got a thing about numbers, you know. Ever since I was a kid, I always looked uh, for multiples of two. It's good luck. You know, like white horses? Yeah. Sure. Vehicle Bureau. This is Lieutenant Wagner. Check ownership on license plate number 8 Fox 0086.
Hey, hold back. You know better than to sneak in here without I tell you when? Suppose the boss had been here. I've told you a hundred times. He means it when he says no visitors. All right. All right. Be through there and see your movie free. That's what you want, ain't it? I, I'm in trouble, Mr. Zimmer. Look, guys like you and me were born to be in trouble. Look, I might get arrested. Well, what did you do? Nothing. I didn't do nothing. Well, then you're okay. No, Mr. Zimmer, no. no. You, you gotta help me. You gotta help me! Hey, hey, hey. Well, you know me. Anything I can do to help you? Sure, sure, but take it easy. If, if anybody asks where I was when, when I wasn't at work... Oh, I get it. <laughs> you took a little time off when a boss got sore and you want an alibi. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Zimmer. For last Wednesday night, uh, at night, yeah, at, at night, after work. You weren't here. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> you gotta tell him. Tell who? The... Any anybody who who asks. Okay. So you were sick in bed, and I sat there holding your little hot hand. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Mm hmm. I make this. Very nice. You sure you don't know who you sold it to? I don't want to get this man into trouble. He's a nice fella. Who is he? This is serious business. I don't know his name. He, he's a big fellow, ugly. Like a monster in a movie? Uh -huh, that's right. I tell him he's crazy to spend so much. What he need with this? What he need with big sharp knife like Hunter when he's a dishwasher? Where? At the Sunrise Diner. Come on. Vieja, cuida de la tienda, ahorita regreso. Nice work. Hey, that's him. That's Orbach. Hey, Orbach, they're cops. <laughs> They'll kill you if you run. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Turn around. Where's your car? I already told you, it's out back. Keep out of it. Come on, I'll, I'll show you. Here it is. How long have you had this? Oh, a long time. Let me see a sales slip. You lost something else. Martinez, did this man buy this from you? See, si, he's the man. No. I feel sorry for you when I think you poor devil play with toys. No, I, I spit on you. I wasn't there. I, I didn't do nothing. I got an alibi. You weren't where. You didn't do what? No, no, I didn't do nothing. No, who did it? from the left. Yeah. That's the man I saw in the park. The lieutenant. What's the matter with him? He's got a lot on his mind. He's tired. Take him back. Show's over. Well, there's no doubt about it, lieutenant. Orbach's blood type is O. 
And where did the type A BRH negative come from? Well, not from Orbach. As evidence, uh, you're going to have to forget it, Lieutenant. Forget it? You've got the case all closed, haven't you, Pat? That's not our job. It's the job of a judge and jury to close the case. Our job is to get the evidence, not forget it. I'd go along with the guy if I could. I, I always felt sorry for him. Get to the point. Well, Orbach came to me wanting an alibi. He didn't say for what. He was like a kid got caught playing hooky from school. Get to the point. Well, I won't lie for no murderer. Not his kind especially. He's got no alibi for me, Lieutenant. No alibi at all. I don't know where he was or when or not. All right. All right. Thanks for coming, Mr. Zimmer. You can go now. Your friend Zimmer won't lie for you. You have no alibi. So you're hooked. We have the weapon. We've tied it to you. We have the car, the black one. You didn't get all the paint off it. The one that was seen in the park near the little girl where you left her. And we have this. Now, what is this, Arak? I don't know. I don't know. What is this? No, don't hit me. Please, don't hit me. I want the truth, Arvac. You talk. You might as well make up your mind. You're going to talk. He won't need to do any talking, Lieutenant. His record speaks for him. Disturbing the peace, vagrancy, loitering on school property, and a Section 8 discharge from the service. Book him. And, Commissioner Putnam added, I should also like to give credit to Lieutenant of Detectives Wagner. Well, it's nice of him to mention you, since all you did was all the work. Mm. I'd like to show this picture to Kathy. She'd be so proud of her dad. No, don't show it to her, Mary. Oh, I won't. Not now. But I'll save it for when she's grown up. Jim, somebody's little girl might not have lived to grow up if you hadn't caught that man. What you need is sleep, a lot of it. You've been up all night. You haven't really slept since all this started. Jim, please, try to get it out of your mind. It's all over now. Daddy, you're home! I can't go, Joan. Go where, Kathy? I was going to ask to go to the park with Joan, but you're home now. Goodbye, Joan. Goodbye, Kathy. Goodbye, Mr. Wagner. Goodbye, Mrs. Wagner. Bye. Jim, what is it? I have to go back to the office. Why? Some unfinished business. The pieces don't fit together right. Won't it wait? You're so tired. Oh, Jim, you're not an iron man. That's just it. I'm sorry, Kathy. That's all right, Daddy. I'll go to the park with Joan. No, please don't go to the park. Why not? Just don't let her go. All right, Kathy, we'll do something else. little girl? This doll is a princess. She's from Italy. She walks and talks and laughs just like a real little girl. <laughs> Where are you going? The park. Well, that's a coincidence. I'm going to the park, too. Why don't you just get in and 
Ride over with the princess and me. All right. lead on this. It's part of a doll's foot. New kind of plastic, too expensive for mass production, used by only one toy factory in Italy. Anyhow, that's the expert opinion. Have you checked on the stores that sell imported dolls? No, I didn't think it was important. Well, after all, you've got an airtight case on Orbach. Well, Pat just punched a hole in that. The blood we took for granted was Orbach's isn't. Let's go. Where now? To find out if Orbach bought a doll made in Italy. Come on. Have you sold many of these? No, I've only sold three in the last six months. Well, most people won't pay the kind of price these cost. Oh, I see what you mean. Somebody would have to love dolls or little girls very much to buy one of these. Mechanism guaranteed. Does that mean that you have a list of the people who bought these? Oh, yes, indeed. The clockwork that operates these dolls is guaranteed. I issue a coupon to each one of my customers, and I keep a copy. This is, uh... Carlos Carger. Carger? That's the mother of the first little girl that was killed. 18019 Devaney Drive. May I use your phone? Oh, yes, of course. Do you like it here in the park, Joan? Mm-hmm. It's pretty. I couldn't come here for a while. Oh? Why not? My mother wouldn't let me. Why not? I don't know. I want her to laugh again. <laughs> All right. Is she ready? When you are. Mm-hmm. All right. One, two, three, go. <laughs> 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 They treat me or back. This is Dr. Lasco. He wants to help you. I thought maybe you want to talk to him. Well, anyhow, I'd, I'd like to talk to you, Mr. Orbeck. I'm interested in what they tell me about you. Would you like to visit City Park? I like it there. It's nice. It's lonely. You've been lonesome, Mr. Orbeck. No friends. Oh, I got lots of friends. Like Mr. Zimmer. Oh, yes, Mr. Zimmer. How about children, Mr. Orbeck? Do you, do you like children? I don't like little boys. Oh, why not? They call me names. Little, little girls. Do you like little girls? Yeah. I like little girls. They're pretty. They're nice. I got a little girl all back. Her name's Kathy. Uh, I was thinking of, uh, Giving this to her. 
Pero lo que haré. like this before? I'll bet you don't know what she can do. She can talk. She can laugh. Oh, no. Dolls can't do that. Well, this one can. Have you ever seen a doll like this before? There was a little girl in the park had a doll like this. I had a teddy bear. I used to have a teddy bear. Mr. Rohrbach, would you tell me about your teddy bear? I used to talk to my teddy bear. He didn't answer, though. I used to talk to him. He just listened. Rohrbach, I, uh... So want to know about this doll. Have you ever seen one like it before? Have you? Please, please tell me, Orbeck. Hmm? No. I, I saw a doll like this. Where? Park. What was this man like, Orbeck? I don't know. He was a man. Who was uh, this man? Was this man you, Orbeck? Oh, no. No. He was crying. Well, why were you crying, Orbeck? He was crying. That's... Why? That's, uh, somebody... Somebody broke his teddy bear. Oh, you mean his doll? His <laughs> teddy bear. No, no, it's a doll. Oh, no. His teddy bear. A doll. <laughs> Orbeck. Orbeck. <laughs> Orbeck. Would you like it if I left her here for you? <laughs> oh, she's better than a, she's better than a teddy bear. Oh, man, teddy bear. <laughs> Guard. <laughs> I think he's pitiful. Yeah, but he may be the murderer. It's possible, I suppose. You suppose. But you don't know. All I know is he needs help. I hope we can give it to him. Kind of a man would cry over a broken doll. 
You have to be a psychopath. By the book, it's a matter of substitution. Treasured doll for something terribly desired, totally unobtainable. For example? Anything, under the sun or beyond it. Well, such as what? Well, it could be a fetishism. <sighs> How does that work? Suppose our psychopath loves children, but they, they don't love him. The doll can feel no fear. So as long as he lavishes his love on it, he's safe and sane so far as anybody knows. But one day he reaches for reality and our real little girl rejects him. Something snaps. He may not know what's happened until after it's all over. Maybe a kind man, a gentleman before that moment and after, until it happens again. Huh. You say he really loves his doll? I'm guessing. Well, keep guessing. All right, so he would cry if somebody broke it. Then what? I suppose he'd have it repaired. You suppose he'd have it repaired? So tired. As soon as you've rested, we'll go to the zoo. And we'll have some hot dogs and some ice cream. I want to go home. Oh, please. You can't go home. I can if I want to. You're not my father. Oh, you can't run away. Because if you do, the doll will cry. I'll cry too. Okay. the leg. Hmm, it fits. There's a stain on it. Could be blood. Who brought this in? What did he look like? It was no way he. It was a little girl. A little girl? Are you certain? Masikuro. Yes, such a pretty little girl. But she never came back. What do you mean, never? I mean, never. A few days I'm a sick, flu. Shop, she's a closed up. I get the well, I come back. Somebody, she's a broke in. Nothing is taken but the doll with the new leg. Well, why didn't you call the police? For the doll, it's not mine. Well, didn't this little girl ever come in and ask about her doll? I tell you, never. That you must have a name and address. No name and no address, sir. This is all the information you can give us. That's all. No more. Thank you. Oh, if you should happen to find it, uh, please call me, Lieutenant Wagner at the city police. Yes, sir. It's very important. Thank you very much. Well, here you are. Oh, please. Oh, you soiled her dress. You got it dirty. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Here. I didn't want this old hot dog anyway. I just want to go home. Oh, please. Please. She's not angry. I mean, I'm not angry. You really don't want to go home? I tell you. Let's walk and talk, and I'll ask the princess to forgive you. And if she forgives you, then I'll forgive you, too. 
All right. The stains are blood, all right. And the blood type is ABRH negative. And it's not Orvax. Could there be two of them? Could be. Or I arrested the wrong man. Oh, if I did. Sergeant Spivak. Who? Oh, yes. Mama Salerno. Doll Hospital. Oh. Lieutenant Wagner speaking. Uh, here, Mrs. Salerno. I, I got a number, no name, but. Maybe... Well, give it to me anyway. 4737 Whitby Avenue. 4737 Whitby Avenue. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope it helps. Well, if it does, you'll read about it in the papers. Goodbye, Mrs. Salerno. What was that? Well, she thinks maybe the little girl who left the doll left that address. Maybe. Sergeant Spivak. Yes. It's the chief. Then Wagner speaking. Joan Wilson? Yes, chief. We'll get on it right away. Another little girl is missing. Joan Wilson. Well, she was at my house just four hours ago with my daughter. She said that she was going to the park. And I let her go. You're absolutely certain your daughter never had one like it? Of course. I'm sure she'd love one. But it's been impossible since her father and I decided to separate. Doris? I was playing. You said I could. Isn't she the kind that talks and laughs? Yes. She talks and laughs. What makes you think she does? Mr. Merriman showed me. Mr. Merriman? Who's he? A friend of mine. Mr. Merriman lives in an apartment across the street. He's a businessman, a bachelor. He's been very kind and neighborly. And he showed you a doll? Mm-hmm. Somebody broke her leg. Did he tell you who broke it, or uh, was it you, Doris? I wouldn't hurt a doll, especially not a pretty doll. No, of course you wouldn't, Doris. But Mr. Merriman? He asked me to take her to the hospital, so I did. Doris, why didn't you tell me? Mr. Merriman said it was a secret. You took the doll to Mama Salerno. Do you know Mama Salerno? Yes, I do. Doris, why didn't you go back for the doll? Mr. Merriman said she died and was buried. He cried. He cried. Thank you very much. Keep her with you, Mrs. Carlyle. Keep her with you every minute. Do you know what conifer means? Conifer means cone bearers. Miss Spencer. Miss Spencer! Miss Spencer! Why, Joan, what are you doing out here all alone? I'm with a friend. He has the most beautiful doll in the world. Doll? What doll, dear? She's a princess. She belongs to my friend. He's a very nice man. You're hungry, aren't you? Yes. It's been a long, long day. But we had fun in the park now, didn't we? I tell you, let's have something nice to eat. Fresh milk. And some chocolate cake. Look. Oh, that great.
dreadful little girl. Bad little girl. She's soiled your nice, clean dress. But you're a good girl. You're my little girl. Mr. Merriman, you're all through killing little girls. We're taking you in. And let's have that doubt. No! No! Don't you touch her. She's mine. She's all I have. Before I let you have her, I'll... <laughs> 